Here we review the Cruiser Stop Performer Paddleboard, a CB99 videos video. Please subscribe. Hi, my name is Carla, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Cruiser Performer Sup that I just bought. I bought a pair of them actually, one purple, one orange. And I'm going to give you a short review of it. When I went to paddleboardsdirect.com, they listed the orange and the purple boards as cheaper than some of the other colors. When I emailed Glenn at the company, who gave fantastic tech support by the way, he told me buying two boards at once would reduce the cost per board. However, when I went to the website, it turns out for these colors, their price for buying two boards at once was more expensive than buying the two individually, so that is what I ended up doing. But I still like the colors because I wanted something that was bright that would stand out. It also comes with a paddle. It says Cruiser Sup on it. And it's a little heavier than my carbon paddle that I use with my other board, but I actually really like this paddle. And I find that I like the width of this paddle, and it's heavier, and I actually like that uh, for some reason because it's a bigger board. It's an 11-foot board. It's very, very stable. You see, I'm kind of wiggling around, and it's very, very stable, and I'm going to move out a little bit so you can see that. And I really like the board. I'm going to shake around a little bit. Very stable. going against the wind, you hear a little bit of a noise. They weigh about 23 pounds each, I think. You can see they're both the same age. They're less than a month old, but the fabric, especially on the purple one, has gotten quite a few nicks on it. So the fabric isn't as durable as you'd like. You know, it does get nicked pretty easily, but it's very comfortable to stand on. That's nice. And it comes with a bungee cord. We got it, the two leashes, which are, I think, very essential to have a leash on the board so that you can keep it with you and also tie it up when you want to tie it up. We use it on a lake only, so we don't use it for surfing. It comes with two smaller side fins, but they, they go off at an angle, so we didn't insert those. They came in a bag like this, these smaller fins, and I, we just never inserted them because it's perfectly fine to use this on a lake, even if you're going over wakes without the extra fins. And in fact, they would slow you down because they're not going straight. The fin that does go straight has quite a bit of depth to it. It has nine inches of draft. You have to watch out for when you're going near rocks because if you hit a rock with that fin, you will cut it up and you will most likely get thrown off of the board if you're going at any speed. That's the only thing you have to watch out for is when you're using the paddle board in shallower water to make sure to avoid any rocks that are too close to the surface. Here I show you how it's relatively easy to pick up the board and walk down the dock with it. I thought I'd show you the bottom of the board. It's called Cruiser Sup Performer. You can see how it gets easily scratched on rocks. The fin, it's already been nicked a little bit. It's a little rough around the edges. The other point I will make to you is that when we first got the boards, I picked them up at the marina on the lake. They were delivered. The delivery went pretty smoothly, except that it came in a lot of packaging, which is good because that protects the boards. And it means that you have to be ready to take off 
the cardboard and the plastic bubble wrap, layers and layers of this right at the spot if you want to get these in the water. So you need maybe a box cutter and a good knife in order to get these things out of the box. And then you want a place to put those boxes and the wrapping. So what I did is I picked up the boards at the marina and I was able to get rid of the wrapping. And then I took them and I'd come by kayak to pick them up and I actually before assembling even one fin I just stacked the two boards and I towed them behind my kayak back to where I am here on an island in Lake Winnipesaukee and and that is how I started my ownership of these two Cruiser Sub Performer 11 foot paddle boards that I'm really happy with, I have to say. The fact that we have two means we can go out together. We don't have to go out by ourselves. And we go on these little adventures to islands and enjoy picking blueberries and it's quite nice. Sup Performer Paddleboard, another CB99 Videos video. Please subscribe to CB99 Videos.